What you see right now is a retro piece of technology, the Macintosh PowerBook 1400 CS. This was in a time where all the computers were beige and black and you still had the rainbow Apple logo in the middle. So we got the keyboard over here, you got the trackpad, which was also new for its time, and we're going to power it on. It had no USB ports by the way. So you hear the bong. I just need to adjust the display a little bit. Welcome to PowerBook. It is booting into system 7.5.3, I believe. So while it's loading, let's look at other components. On the left hand side, you have the ability of two type two or one type three PC card slot, I think. Over here, you have the battery. Over here, you could have the choice of an optical or floppy drive. On the back, you got all your I.O. ports. So right here, we have Mini 15. You got on the left audio in and out and your charger. You got your SCSI, ADB, your main, another power button, and serial. You got an infrared port and a Kensington security slot. So now let's see how the system is loaded. So, as you can see, it's running system 7.5.3. I'm just going to go into about this Macintosh with system enabler 10. Now this has 16 megabytes of RAM and it can also run Mac OS 8.5 which I'm actually going to boot into right now. So I'm just going to open an app called Melt. It's just one of those joke apps where your whole screen just suddenly melts. But anyways, let's restart into OS 8.5. So I'm just going to go into control panels. I'm going into startup disk. Mac OS 8.5. Now let's reboot. So we are now booting into Mac OS 8.5.1, I believe. So you got the welcome to Mac OS sign. And it's going to take a while because 8.5 does use a lot of memory. And it's actually the first one to only support PowerPC yet. The 6AK Macintosh should no longer work after Mac OS 8.1. So it's starting up, you got all the extensions that should come up on the left hand side. Well, I'm at, instead, I'm actually going to fast forward. So, we got the wallpaper. I designed this one myself. And I put it in into the system via a CD using a CD I burned. So we're now in OS 8.5. You got this actually has the ability to play CDs. So I think, and you also got the sound effects as well. If only this has a DVD drive about this computer. Mac OS 8.5.1, 16 megs, and surprisingly enough, Finder is already using almost all of it. So, so there you have it. This is the PowerBook 1400 CS. It's dual booted with Mac OS 8.5 and System 7.5.3. If you have any questions, please leave it below. My name is, as you know, Martin, and thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.